Both my parents had dementia at various points in their lives. And I thought, nope, I am not going to do that. Fifteen years ago, if you had talked to me and you said, oh, had you thought about painting? And I would have said, no. My name is Karen Johansson Musson. Um, I do quite a few things, but you're just interested in the artistic part of it, is it? My last few years teaching, I was asked to anchor the French Immersion Program in the... Well, I had been asked to start the French Immersion Program in a school um, up in uh, Gray County, Gray and Bruce Counties, when our last parent died that we moved. We thought, no, we're not going to move to London, Ontario or Toronto because our kids might not stay there. So let's move somewhere in between. And we always loved coming to the theater, so we found a place and very happy that we moved here. So When you come to a new community, yeah, you have to join the community. So what does that mean? I have figured it out in my mind that she first began getting interested in art in 2009. And it was really after she had met Sandy Allen, who was a person who moved here just about the same time as we did. She was already an established part-time artist. And Karen and Sandy uh, got to know each other at an exercise facility and got to be fast friends right away. And along with that, uh, at that time, I was saying to Karen, because we just recently retired, you need to have your own hobby. You need to have something that you'd really like to do. Karen thought about it for a while, and then Sandy suggested, why don't you come down to my little studio at Factory 163 and just have a look at what I'm doing? So Karen did that and tried out a little bit of painting, just tentatively, and uh, after a few weeks, she became quite enthused about it. And so she started painting out there. She bought some basic supplies, and much to my surprise, my cousin Barbara just fell in love with one of her paintings and just said, I have to have that. And Karen was delighted to, to have that. Uh, it, it made her feel good that she felt so supported. When I was uh, eight, my parents decided we should go to Europe. And we just drove everywhere. And for a kid, it's, I don't know, it was, I was in the back seat all the time. And I think I did a lot of daydreaming and stuff like that. I just wanted to look out the window because, well, scenes go by and there's a little view here. And, and I'm, try, I'm trying to record it with my little, my brain. Look at the way the, the light is shining on the water or on the building or on the, you know, the colors. I think everything I look at, I take, oh, yeah, I gotta remember that. Oh, I gotta remember that. So a lot of my skies come from past experiences. So it's a lifetime sort of thing. But th that's where the travel comes in. That's kind of fun just in the sense that it reflects again who she is. They're very unique, and when you see that part of her and her story, you can begin to see that in some of her other pictures. She does like to do large art pieces, and she'll do multiple copies of them as she perfects them, which I think is a unique way for an artist to work. Karen comes in with kind of a gusto, and Karen is a gusto person, uh, which I love about her, and she just sort of, well, I'm going to do this one. Well, I didn't like that. I'll just paint over and I'll do another one. And it's just a real expression of who she is as a person. So I will step back. And I don't hold my brush like a pencil. Sometimes in detail work, sometimes with watercolors, but I'm using acrylic paint. And I was told in an oil class that I shouldn't, you, you tense up when you hold like a pencil. And you need to think you're conducting music. I always view it as being a bit of an experiment. In some experiments you say, ah, I didn't mind that. In others you say, oh, well, 
maybe we should just alter it a little bit. Painting it has become a passion. I do it for myself. I do it for friends. And uh, it, it's all creative. And so what I do is step out into the unknown and see what I can do with it. It's not a threatening thing, but it's a challenging thing. And if you don't walk through that door, that opportunity, if I don't do it now, when am I going to do this? One word, um, fun. Karen is fun. She's fun to be around. She's enthusiastic. She likes to talk. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> but that's part of her being fun. She's uh, a very strong person. She's been through some very difficult times. Her father, unfortunately, became ill with, you know, cognitive issues, and uh, that turned into Alzheimer's, and, and, and it was so difficult for her to deal with that. But it made her a stronger person. It really did. She's not afraid to explore, and that's what I've noticed from the time frame that I've known her. She's always trying something new. She's always thinking of ways, and I think that's great. That's how she grows, because she can come back every time and, and maybe improve on it. And I think that's why doing the same picture three or four or five times, as I said, is a way for her to learn. So I've seen a lot of growth and her business model, and of course her website, and her actual painting, the way she's influenced people. The message that I would give to people in general is don't say, I'm not artistic, or I, I can't draw, or I can't do that. I have met more people that way because I was like that. And one, you have to be a risk taker a little bit, and some of us are good at it, better at it, I should say, than others. But walk through that door, try it, and don't, don't give up on it so quickly, like, oh, see, I can't do it. Pra just look at it as, as I've said before, practicing. And you have to change your thinking. I mean, that can expand to things other than art. Just allow yourself to say, okay, I've always done this. How about I just do a little changes or whatever and just practice at it and just, you know, be change the message that you give to yourself. Just because you're older doesn't mean you can't learn to do new things. I would say experiment. <laughs>